Scott, thank you for joining us. Obviously, a frustrating result here at the Broadwood Stadium, but can I start by getting your reflection of the game? Uh, yeah, lack of conviction uh, to win a game for me. I thought that we were passive um, and didn't play with the energy that we have been playing with. I thought that we were um, not aggressive enough in the final third. And um, their first goal was just really poor defending. You know, we had, we had him trapped on the side of the pitch, three players around him. Um, but we allow him to get through and get round and, and score a goal from a really tight angle. Really, really poor defending. Um, but yeah, but, but in, in general, we, we didn't have enough conviction. We looked as if we've, it's a missed opportunity for me, a big missed op opportunity, especially after looking at the results. A lot of teams around us lost and drawn. Um, and we didn't take our opportunity to, to really nail our position today. Um, so disappointed with that. Um, but yeah, we just ne didn't have any nowhere near enough conviction. You know, we had chances. We had chances to make chances, and we had chances to score. And we were just fluffy. We were nice at the top of the pitch, not aggressive enough, just fluffy. Yeah, is that what you put it down to being too nice? You say about the conviction. Is that you know just being too nice? Was it you know a lack of belief? Was it you well, know not starting no fast disrespect, enough? No disrespect to Doncaster, but if we if we're in and like I said they're a good side right no disrespect to them and this is not me being disrespectful to them because I would never do that but I feel this given the season we've had and given the position that we're in if we're serious about getting promoted or serious about being in the playoffs then we have to win this game today and that was a pressure that I put on the players but we have to and, and players at this level of football need to play under that kind of pressure and it felt to me as if we, 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 we played with no conviction you know a big part of the game plan was Doncaster have conceded more than 50% of their goals since the turn of the year on crosses, putting the ball in the box. We put three crosses in in the first 20 minutes of the game. Three. You know, are we trying to win this game or not? So for me, nowhere near aggressive enough within our play. It's very rare that we've come, especially at home, we come away from a game having not scored. We seem to be scoring lots of goals this season. And do you think if we'd scored, you know, early on, we go on to win this game? Is that another thing that perhaps would have given the lads a lot more confidence? Do you think? Um, yeah, but if if my auntie had wheels, she'd be a shopping trolley. There's no point talking about ifs, buts, and maybe's. What's if if we'd have scored? But that we didn't score. So, and I said to the boys at half time, if we don't score, it's going to be a hard graft for the for the defenders. Because all the time it's nil-nil, you can feel, because they've got good quality at the top of the pitch, right? You can see with their goal. He's a good player, the kid who plays wide left. And all the time it's nil-nil, you can see something dropping for them. So don't make it nil-nil for long. Go and score, please. But we kind of, like I say, we're fluffy at the top of the pitch. Too nice. We've got opportunities to now, you know, sort of bounce back from this. We're obviously straight back in action on Monday. I suppose the message to the players is we can't perform like that again because we will be coming away with nothing and very quickly as you say these hopes of getting promoted are going to be you know sort of sliding away from us so how do you sort of approach the next few days with the group well no we have to we have to recover first and foremost and and, and regroup um you know and probably be debrief it but we can't play in that manner you know we can't play in that manner we've got to we've got to try and you know finish teams off and we didn't today. Like at the end, we had. I played with seven forwards at the end. You know wh why are we going like out of control football? Because we're we're chasing a deficit and we're out of control. We we played with three forwards in uh, Adam Campbell, Dan Orsi, and Lolas, and we played with two number tens in Rolls and um, and Liam Kelly, and we played with you know two really high wingers in in Kellen and, and, and Nick Sarula. So we played with seven up front in the end because we're chasing a deficit, but we we can't be playing out of control football like that because we don't do our job properly in the first half. Like I say, first 20 minutes, we put three crosses in the box. How are we supposed to win a game? You know, we, we're too nice. We're too nice and we've got to be, we've got to be more aggressive. If we're going to, listen, nice people don't win championships, don't win titles, don't win promotions. Nice people end up mid-table and, you know, we've got to show our teeth a little bit more than we did today.
it is the sort of football cliche, but is it ideal that we have a game so soon after? Obviously, the Easter turnaround is always very tight, and I know a lot of managers tend to say that they, after a loss, they want to get back out there straight away and put things right. Is that the case? Yeah. Yeah, I wish the game was tomorrow. I really do, because we have to put that right today. You know, the, the bumper crowd, uh, the fans are fantastic, great crowd. Um, we didn't give them enough to, to, to cheer about today, so I apologise for that. But we've got to do better, we've got to do more. We're in a great position, right? And I just said to the players, you're lucky, you're really lucky because everyone around us is drawn or lost. So you're really lucky. Um, so you get another bite at, the, bite at the cherry on Monday. So let's take that bite this time. Take the bite. And we've obviously been fantastic on the road. So that's a lot of confidence to take into that, isn't it? Obviously, as you say, disappointing to lose in front of a bumper crowd today. But the performances on the road this season have been there. So we've just got, you know, sort of look back and, you know, bring them forward with us, haven't we? It doesn't matter whether you're home or away because this time of the season we've got to win games and it doesn't make, make no difference. We've got, to, we've got to attack this game now on Monday. Simple. Thanks, Scott. Obviously, there's going to be a negative reaction from the crowd and the fans straight after the game. There's still so much to play for and it's only one game, isn't it? So there's so much positivity going into the last seven games of the season now. No, listen, I'm disappointed. We're, we're all disappointed, you know. There's negativity with me now in this interview mm. because I, I feel that it was a chance missed. Um, but come, come tomorrow, I'll be over it and I'll be ready and getting prepared for, for another tough game and, you know, we're in a good position still I think we're lucky I think we're really lucky because of the results yeah and the next three games always looked tough on paper three away games does it look a little bit tougher now because of the no they're result? all tough every game you play like Mansfield away Doncaster at home it's the same hmm. they're all tough you know like I hear people all the time and people ring me so oh, you, you need to win in this game because that game is going to be hard I'm like that what on earth are you talking about they're all really really hard it doesn't make no difference when we pick the points up. We just got to pick them up. No. Doesn't it makes some difference if it's Mansfield away, if it's if it's Doncaster at home. It makes no. They're all they're all really hard games. People need to understand that. Yeah. And how pleased will you be to be back on the touchline on Monday? Um, I might not be yet. I might no. not be. I might stay up in the stands. I really enjoyed the last two games being up there. I think I've been calm. I think I've I've seen a. Uh, you know, I, I think it's easy to see the shape from when you're up above. So it might be something that I carry on. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and were there any positives you can take from any performances today? Um, yeah, of course, uh, there's positives you can take from performances. You know, I think that, you know, I think that there was players out there that that that, that done well. I'm not saying that everybody did poorly because I don't think that was the case at all. I think that there was players out there who done well. Um, but collectively, we're a team, and, and collectively, we just got beat two 0 by by Doncaster at home, and I think it's been a missed opportunity. Like I say, I thought we were fluffy and nice at the top of the pitch, and I thought we were um, really, really poor in one moment defensively. Listen, the second goal is, I don't know what Corey's, you know, I ain't seen it back, so I, I don't really want to comment on that. But mm. listen, we, we were shoving players forward at that moment. Like I say, we were playing with seven forwards at that stage. And it kind of happens when, you, when you're doing that. You, you sometimes do concede late on, you know, through shoveling players forward. Um, but listen, we'll dust ourselves down and, and we go again. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. A positive, really, Scott. I've just gone through my mind, which I hope, I hope it helps, but this is not the decider. What I mean is it didn't all rest on this and you can move on and you've got to gain quickly. So that is all, all positive, really. No, I've just said to the players in there, I think you're really lucky. I think you're lucky um, because the results have gone for you. Um, in many ways, you know, a lot of teams have drawn or lost. I don't think anyone's won around us, um, apart from probably Barra. I think Barra won, did they? Um, but they're kind of, you know, probably out of the of the reach of where we want to get to. Um, but certainly the teams who are trying to get in that seventh place have dropped points today, as have we, um, which is disappointing. But I think that I think we're lucky. Yeah, they're feeling it as well. Those teams around you are feeling it too. Yeah, we've got listen. With with the before today, with the eight games to go, we're not. Good. Are we going to win every game? Let, let's hope so, right? Well, obviously we've lost today, but let's hope we are. But there is going to be probably between now and the end of the season still some ups and downs. It's football, mm. you know. It, it is, but we're still in a, a really good position. But I thought that we we missed an opportunity today. I really believe we missed an opportunity today. I don't think the players really grabbed this game 
with both hands today like they should have done in my opinion and hopefully you'll pick up points in games where you might not have thought well I win we might not win here but you win oh I never think that just to things. make that really clear I never think that we might not win anywhere I think that we're going to win every game we go into and trust me, when we go to Wrexham and when we go to Mansfield and we go to these tough places, I will never, ever in a million years be setting my team up to draw or lose. We'll be going to win it and I'll, I'll back my team to win against any team. You said that regard, in looking ahead to the playoffs. You, I remember you said that uh, you would back them against any, any side. Oh, 100%. Well. Well, well, you look at, the, look at the times we've played good sides out here. Yeah. Wrexham, we were the better side. Mansfield, we were the better side, in my opinion. You know, Stockport with a better side. They're all the teams who've got. And that's the reason you feel like you do now, because you know they can do uh, it. Listen, it's in our hands still. In my opinion, it's still in our hands. Um, but we let it slip out of our hands a little bit today. Disappointing. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Lawrence, thank you for joining us. Obviously, a disappointing result here at the Broadfoot Stadium. Can I get your overall reflection of the game first? Yeah, uh, very disappointment. Very disappointing. Um, Obviously, we came into this this game on the back of a great run of fixtures and a great great run of results. Uh, so we all believed that we could have gone out there and got three points today, but it wasn't to be. Um, and now we've got a massive game coming up on Monday at Newport. The gaffer said that he probably largely puts it down to us being too nice today. Um, obviously, as a defender, that might not not necessarily be aimed at yourself. He said we should have perhaps taken you know advantage of the chances that we were able to create. Would you agree with that? That we were probably a little bit too nice to Doncaster today. Yeah, personally, I thought it was I thought it was a little bit loose um, with the ball. Uh, definitely at the top end of the pitch. I felt like first half we got through them a few times and then do a few giveaways and then it's turned into a little bit of a, of a basketball game where it was a little bit end to end for our liking. Um, but we tried to stop that at half time and then obviously goals change games, moments. Um, they get the goal, then they're sending off and we're all out attack and we're trying to to get something out of the game. Um, and then obviously there's one mistake at the end and it's, it's game over, but the game was probably done by then anyway. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Because you want to look at it and say, oh, the, the 10 men, you know, would have given us a great advantage and, you know, with nine minutes at a time, we should be pushing for an equaliser. But as the gaffer said, sometimes that can actually throw you off, can't it? Up where we've been so good with playing our style of football, the gaffer sort of said that it was all a little bit sort of mismatch at the end and playing with seven forwards. So it must be difficult out there. <laughs> yeah, it's something that I've learned um, the more I've played, really. Obviously, when you go down to 10 men, team uh, fans, players, you all just think... Let's go get a goal now, and then all of a sudden you're you're all over the all over the place really in terms of your team shape, the way you've worked all week. Um, but yeah, we we tried as best to try and try and get a goal, um, and it wasn't to be. Yeah, and as you said, we've got you know some big games coming up. That's uh, seven left for the season now. You know, is it a case of just sort of putting today behind us and just fully focusing on these seven games? And there's still a lot to play for, isn't there? Yeah, obviously we're all really disappointed in there as players because we knew that we could have come out come out of this game with three points or even a point. And um, but we have got seven big games left, and uh, that's something that us as players, fans, and the club have got to stick together now. Um, we're still right in there. We're right in the mix, and the games are going to come thick and fast. So now we need to stick together uh, and hopefully go out there on, on Monday and, and put it right. Yeah, it is the old football cliche, isn't it? After a loss, you always want the next game to come around as quick as possible. Fortunately, we've got a shorter break than normal, obviously, playing on Monday. So I suppose as a group in there, you've all just sat there and gone, right, we've got a great chance to you know, put this right on Monday, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Physically, mentally, we've got to recover. Uh, we've got two days now to, to prepare and uh, get ready for Monday. It's, it's like you say, it's an old cliche that you want the next game to come around as quick as it can after a loss. And um, yeah, it's a perfect opportunity now for us to bounce back on Monday away at Newport. Yeah, and we have been so impressive away from home, obviously Tranmere being a great example of that. So when you look at those games, it must give you great confidence to know that you can go into these games in, you know, with full confidence. Yeah, definitely. Uh, our away form has picked up, as you know, uh, recently. So yeah, it's a great opportunity. Uh, we've got seven big games left. We need to stick together. It's a loss today, but we need to stick together as a club um, and hopefully put it right on Monday. Thank you, Lawrence. Cheers. Lawrence, something um, Scott just said to us was maybe the pressure of actually being in the playoffs got to the players. Is there any sort of truth in that? Because obviously you've been outside it so long, got into it last week. And now, is, is, was there any kind of different pressure did you feel as a player being in the playoffs? Personally, I didn't feel any different different type of pressure. I thought we've had a great week's training. Um, we've prepared right. We've done everything exactly the same. 
And I just think that sometimes in football you have bad results and today was one of them. Um, obviously we don't want to have bad results because as a football club we've we've come on leaps and bounds and um, it's something that we're all really proud of what where we are in the league and we feel like we don't want to just end it where we're just going to finish outside the playoffs and, and move on to next season. There's something that in our bellies and, and in the squad that we know that we want to believe that we can go go up and get promoted this season throughout through the playoffs and um, we've still got a great opportunity with that. We've got seven games left. We've got a great opportunity to, to put that right and obviously nothing better than going to Newport on Monday and trying to get try and get try and get the three points. Yeah, and Scott also said you're lucky that results sort of went your way a little bit with teams around you just drawing and dropping points and that. So how quickly after the game are you aware of the results of other games now at this yeah, stage? Yeah, it's something that for myself I'm I don't really focus on that. I focus on us as a club um, and, and personally my, my own performance and how I can get better. Um, so yeah, I've, I've heard that the results have gone our way. I, I ain't looked at the results, but yeah, I've heard got, the results have gone our way. Um, but I still think there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. There's still a long way to go. And obviously we've got seven games left. Some teams have got five. There's going to be people <coughs> picking up results. There's going to be people, people losing. And today's obviously a, a day where most of the teams have dropped points. So. But Monday might be a time where everybody w wins and, and it doesn't change, don't change the picture. Um, so, yeah, I think that there's going to be a lot of change from now towards the end of the season. I just think as a club we've got to stick together and, and hopefully we'll be there come, come the end of the season. Yeah, and just a word on Joy McCain. He's um, obviously come in and played the last three or four games. How impressed have you been playing next to him for such a young player who hasn't played that many games this season? Yeah, it's, it's been a tough season for Joy, obviously. Um, He's a great lad, he's stuck by it, he trains really hard, which is a massive bonus to, to him and a credit to him really. He's worked hard, he's, he's kept himself in the gym, he's, he's worked hard on the training ground and he's got his, he's got his chance and he's took it. Um, he's been fantastic really. It's, um, it's, it's nice to see a young lad get, get, the, get, the, get the chance that he deserves and um, hopefully he can carry on that, carry on that, uh, carry on that form. And how much of a boost it is to have um, Liam Kelly, Dion Conroy coming back today as well? Yeah, it's a massive boost. Obviously, yeah. when you get a few injuries, you're a bit like, oh, what are we going to do? Are we going to bring? Are we going to pick up results without these in the team? And obviously, we've been on a great run without them, but now it's it's we've got them back. It's a it's a great opportunity to to put them back in the team and into the squad and and have them around the place because they're great players and great lads as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Lawrence.